eddy currents. Instead of a single loop, say you have a piece of metal that moves in a changing magnetic field. For example, in some electrical equipment, you could have a mass of metal that is moving in a magnetic field or that is placed in a changing magnetic field. In such a situation, you have currents which are called eddy currents that are induced in the volume of the metal in the volume of the inside the volume of the material now these currents resemble swirling eddies in a river and hence the name eddy currents let us take a look at an experiment where eddy currents are produced we have a solid conducting plate we have a plate over here this is the plate and this plate swings in the magnetic field. We have a solid conducting plate and as this plate swings in the magnetic field, let me just draw a few, a pivot from which this is supported. So, you have this plate attached over here and this will swing into the magnetic field and after some time, let us say it comes to this position over here. Now, as the plate swings in the magnetic field, when it enters the magnetic field over here, you have an eddy current that flows through it. Now, these induced currents are produced as the plate moves into the magnetic field and when it moves out of the mag magnetic field. Now, let us see how can we find the direction of these eddy currents which flow in this plate. For this, we need to use Lenz's law. The plate is entering into a region with the magnetic field from the north to south. The magnetic field is in this direction from the north to the south pole of the magnet. Now, with the magnetic field in this direction and say let us call this as A, we label this as A and this as B. So, the magnetic field is present from A to B. Eddy currents will flow in such a direction that the magnetic field due to them is in a direction opposite to the magnetic field from A to B. See, if we use the right hand rule, we can see that these currents should flow in the anti-clockwise direction in which case the magnetic field due to these currents will be in this direction. To understand this relation between the direction of the current and the magnetic field, let us recall the Maxwell's right hand rule. See, if you have a long straight wire which is carrying an electric current in this direction, then the magnetic field are concentric circles around the wire. You can show the magnetic field like this and according to this rule that if you grasp this wire in your right hand with your thumb pointing in the direction of the current, then the direction in which you curl your fingers gives you the direction of the magnetic field. Now we are applying the same law in reverse which means that if you curl your fingers over here in the direction in which the current flows, say you curl your fingers like this, then your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic field. So, this is the direction of the magnetic field and this is the direction of the current. Hence, if you look at the eddy current over here, the current is in this direction and the magnetic field due to these eddy currents are going to be in the opposite direction. Over here, just as we talked about the plate entering the magnetic field, similarly think of an explanation when the plate is moving out of the magnetic field. Say this plate moves out of the magnetic field. In that case, again you will have eddy currents which will flow in this plate as it is moving out of the magnetic field. Think of a similar explanation and using Lenz's law, find the direction of the eddy current 
while it moves out of the field. I think I missed coloring it. It's, it's the same blue plate which moved into the field and um, you need to show that the current in this is going to be in this direction. Now in this experiment what happens is that after some time the motion of the plate gets damped and soon it comes to rest. This means that as the plate is moving over here there must be some force which opposes the motion. There has to be some retarding force. Now how can we explain the existence of that force? So for that force this is basically F is equal to I L cross B. Now we know that the force on a current carrying conductor placed on a magnetic field is given by this expression where I is the current, L is the length of the conductor and B is the magnetic field. Over here with current in the downward direction which is this direction over here, current in this direction and a magnetic field in this direction from A to B, a magnetic field in this direction from A to B, the force that this plate will experience will be in the in this direction, in the outward direction, in a direction away from the field. See over here what we have done actually, we have considered this as a current carrying conductor which is moving into a magnetic field this part of the plate which is carrying current. So this is a current carrying conductor of length L which is moving into the magnetic field which is perpendicular to the plate and the magnetic field is in this direction. So the force that it experiences is in this direction. So the force is going to oppose the motion of the plate and hence slow it down. Similarly, when the plate moves out of the magnetic field, see we have a current in this direction, in the downward direction and a magnetic field in this direction and you can see that the force that it is going to experience using I L cross B will be in this direction. See notice that these eddy currents which are flowing in this manner, the, the return currents, these lie outside the magnetic field. See actually uh, we could have shown the plate a little more inside the magnetic field like this because it actually cuts the magnetic field lines. So the return path of the current is actually outside the magnetic field, so they do not experience any magnetic force. 